an everyday basis, I like to get up about 7.30 um, every morning and this is just to get me in a mood to get motivated and not to waste too much time in bed. The first thing I do, like most people, is check my phone for all my like updates and that kind of thing. Um, I do try to go onto my Bible app and read the Bible first thing. Um, and at the moment I'm reading a really great plan and it's about race and ethnicity. Um, and yeah, I find it really interesting. And then I also go and check up on the news and read all the crazy stories and stuff or the things that are going on around the world. Um, and then when I'm finally ready to get out of bed, I'll make my bed. Okay, so recently I've been really trying to get into doing a workout in the morning. So then I go and look for some clean workout gear in my really messy drawer underneath my bed and in all honesty I do need to replace it because it's literally falling apart as you can see and the drawer doesn't even connect anymore but anyway we'll get onto that another day um, so about 8 30 ish I'll go downstairs to start my workout and I like going downstairs because there's a lot of space for me to move um, I also drink quite a bit of water before I start um, and this is just to wake me up and get my system going if you're looking for a really amazing workout then definitely check out Fitness Blender on YouTube. They're amazing, it's free and they really make you sweat guys so you'll never be disappointed. So I usually go for something like cardio or strength training uh, while I'm doing my workout. So today I went for a cardio um, and usually these last for about 30 to 40 minutes depending on the workout that you choose. And like I said before, you're going to be sweating so you know you're going to get a good one in. And as you can see, I kind of ended up taking off my top because I was just sweating like a pig. It was ridiculous. <laughs> so yeah, afterwards, I make sure that I do a really efficient cool down and stretch out my muscles so that they don't ache during the day. And then I'll run upstairs and get a shower. Oh no, before that, I've been posting my fitness journey on Instagram. And I guess it's just to look back on and see how far I've come and see how much, I guess, weight I've lost and how much I've toned up. So then I'll jump into the shower and usually I just clean my face with a nice cleanser and use a really creamy body wash. So my morning skincare routine is quite simplistic I think, uh, it consists of six different steps. So the first step is obviously just the clean to get all of that nasty sweat and dirt off my face. Then I'll go in with my toner and then I'll usually use an eye cream. Um, and recently I've been using a facial oil to get rid of some scars. Then I'll get some sunscreen out and then I'll finish with my moisturiser. Now a really important step for me in the morning is cleaning my teeth before breakfast. I find that this actually helps me to get it done and also that my breakfast tastes better because my mouth is not dirty, um, which I only really found out the other day. I used to clean my teeth after breakfast but I found out it's so much more efficient to do it before. So fun fact for you there. And then breakfast happens about 10 o'clock or when I finally get downstairs. So today's breakfast was overnight carrot cake, oats, which was amazing. It looks disgusting, but trust me, it tasted really good. Um, and while I'm filling up the kettle and just doing the day-to-day -day breakfast things, I like to text and answer my friends on WhatsApp. Um, so I'll drink a large cup of hot water in the morning along with my breakfast, which today was oats. And then I'll go and sit down and watch some TV, as I always do. And right now, I'm really loving Undercover Boss. That show makes me tear up all the time. It's so emotional and so great. And yeah, I just love to watch that. So that's kind of what I'll be doing for the next, say, 40 minutes. And then, about 11ish when I finally get motivated, I'll switch on my laptop and start the never ending process of job searching. Now as I said before, I am currently unemployed so this takes up a lot of my day. Um, some things that I like doing is sorting out my job references and filling out application forms. And while I'm doing this obviously I'll listen to some really cool music so I really love slow beats that get me in the mood and they're not too distracting so I can get on with my work and still kind of have a bit of, I guess, entertainment. 
Um, I really like taking notes, especially when I'm looking for certain skills and that kind of thing, and it helps to retain the information afterwards. On this day, I got a call from my sister, which was a really welcome break because I just needed some air and obviously an excuse to procrastinate. Hi. Hi. So around, I guess, one to two, I start getting hungry and my energy starts to dip. So I usually head off into the kitchen to make some lunch. And today's lunch was gluten free, it just happened to be gluten free that day. Um, so usually while I'm making lunch, I like to check out my Snapchat stories. And I'm on Snapchat if you didn't know, so information will be on the screen or in the down bar. So after lunch, um, I'll go in for something a little bit less strenuous. So now I've been trying to get into making some money. So I usually do like a survey online um, and that kind of thing, just to kind of get my income a little bit higher. And then after a few minutes on that, when I get really bored of the computer, my eyes start to hurt, I'll shut it down and go upstairs to do something different. So I like to sit down on my bed and at about half three, I like to just lie down and read my bible and this is so relaxing and of course so important to me um, just to spend time with God and just have some time to get some peace away from technology and all the other stuff and also I like to do a bit of stretching just to kind of ease the tension in my neck as I've been sitting down at the laptop all day and then the favorite part of my day is when I get to just lie down and watch tv Amazon Prime is kind of the medium that I use at the moment so on this particular day, I had a driving lesson to go to. So as you can see, I decided to put some makeup on and tidy up my room and prepare myself to go. Um, so as you can see, yeah, I've got quite far on my driving and hopefully I'll be able to take my test at the end of the year. So fingers crossed that I get that far. Also on this day, I got a phone call um, or a voice message. So I decided that I would answer that before I went to my driving lesson and get that done and that was kind of a lead up to a prospective job so that was quite good so yeah so my driving lesson was at seven so i got ready and i put my dinner in the fridge i wouldn't be able to eat it unfortunately my driving lesson got cancelled boo <laughs> so that was a bit of a disappointment to me so yeah after that i just basically went back on my laptop watched tv with my mum and caught up with her then kind of went to bed so again, thank you guys for watching that video. If you liked it, uh, then be sure to click the like button. And if you're not already subscribed, then go ahead and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope you'll join me next time in my next video. Bye.